This is my like third time trying to record this and everything that has gone wrong could go wrong. So let's try this again. What is up guys? This is your boy Chrome Dome. Um, where the hell have we been? I have missed you guys. Even though I don't see any of you, I know you're out there. I know I got some fans. Um, you've, as you might have noticed, for the past, oh gosh, what, like at least six months, I have been MIA, and there's some good reasons behind it, and some some stories, some good stories and some bad ones. And I'm about to tell you right now, because I at least owe you guys that. Um, let's get into it. So, first things first, the green truck is gone. Now, I sold it probably back in I think it was March or April. And there were some good reasons behind it. I didn't have the money to fix up my house because I own the house that I'm in right now. And I am moving out of this house and want to fix it up. Well, I need some money from certain places and that was one thing that I felt I could sacrifice um, and get rid of to help me sell this place. Uh, had it up for about probably a month and finally a guy from, I wanna say like 10 blocks away, came, uh, messaged me and came out and said, hey, you know, I want the truck, blah, blah, blah. Um, and drove away with it. The truck was something I was very serious about. I had spent countless, it had probably been weeks, months, shoot, maybe even years, um, seeing these trucks, you know, dealing with these trucks and planning things out for if I had these trucks. The way I wanted to go, I was prepared to spend like 10 grand in that truck if I had been able to sell this place and walk away with a little cash behind it. Um, not knowing this before, that things like the windows, um, the windows that I have in my house now are all brand new. They were all painted shut. The, the, it was, there was so much paint that you could not open these windows um the grass and i'll show you before and after right here Go, 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 go. <laughs> go, Mason. Go, Mason. I win. Go, run over there. Huh? Run over there. Oh. <laughs> over here, bud. I mean, it, what a transformation, right? Uh, it's... You know curb appeal we ended up moving 16 tons of concrete out of the front lawn just from where the um, RV I don't even know what it was it was like an RV thing uh, a little parking spot just from what that was um, you know and now I don't have to think what are they gonna think when they come to buy this house and Oh, great. Now I got to do this in the front yard. Oh, I don't want to buy that house. Now it helps. 
it's people are going to see this beautiful front yard, these beautiful windows. Um, hopefully soon we'll get some paint and stucco where it needs to be. And, you know, someone's going to love this house. Um, now, the reason I'm selling the house is because I myself am actually moving out of state. Yes, after 20, almost 28 years in December, my time in California has come to an end. All I've noticed, California, it's very nerve wracking and scary because of that. Um, I'd only been to Texas, you know, one time before my trip I took a couple weeks ago to, uh, to Waco. And at that time, the first time I went to Texas, I literally was just in the airport. I didn't go outside the airport. I was inside the whole time for, you know, I think it was like a half an hour. And this trip I took to Waco, Texas, it, it was life-changing. It was very eye-opening to see that there's, you know, a different side of people. Um, basically, what I'm talking about is Southern pride and Southern hospitality. Now, when you think Southern pride, you think, oh, everybody's racist, blah, 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 at first. But, I mean, it's not even that. It's the pride that they have down there. I mean, Texas, you don't mess with them. And I see why. They love their state. I saw that and I said, you know what? I want to be able to do the same thing. I can't say I love my state. I love the town I'm from. I love the opportunities that California has given me. Other than that, I'll miss it a little, but I'm on to bigger and better things. So with that being said, my last day here, I believe is the 4th of September. Um, it's a, the, the Wednesday after, what is that? Labor day, Memorial day coming up in September, the beginning of September. Um, it's that Wednesday, whether I work that Wednesday or whether I leave that night, I will be gone and I do not plan on coming back maybe to visit, but I do not plan on coming back to live here. So back to the green truck. The green truck was sold to fund a couple things. Um, and since I got rid of it, I also am no longer in distorted uh, truck club, car club. Now, reason behind that, one, I was a prospect with no vehicle. So there's red flag number one. And red flag number two was I had to meet with a realtor and different people to be able to do these things that I've done around this house to make it better. And I didn't have time to make the meeting, so we parted ways. Now, in no way am I trying to disrespect those guys. I have the utmost respect for what Tony and his club have done for me. What I have learned and gained, and the knowledge I've gained, the people I've met, the experiences I had, phenomenal. You know, hats off to you guys. You guys have a great club. I'm sorry it didn't work out. Um, you know what, maybe down the road, you guys can come to Lone Star Throwdown in Texas and you know, you guys can, if anything, Stay at my house. We can catch up, you know, and I hope you all the best um, in your future. I do still plan on building a vehicle. Now, with the money I'm getting out of this house, I will be, majority of it will be going to another house. Um, I should be getting, with what we were talking about, I should be getting enough to get another vehicle to start another project. Now, the project I was thinking of was an overland build. And if some of you don't know what overlanding is, overlanding is like taking your 
Um, majority of people do what do they do? Four runners, uh, Toyota trucks with like pop up tents in the back, um, big diesels uh, like F three fifties with pop up tents in the back, stuff like that. It's basically it's camping out of your vehicle. Um, I don't want to do what everybody else does. And with that being said, it's going to be kind of harder because I'm also going to have to find other ways to do it. Now, the vehicles I was thinking about was if I went Toyota, I would either do like a third gen 4Runner with the 3.4 in it. Um, doesn't have to be stick, I don't care. It's just got to be 3.4 with a four wheel drive in it. Or even a first gen with the 22RE. Um, I was also looking at FJ Cruisers, um, the new, the newish ones. Uh, but what I keep coming back to is the Chevy Blazer. Now I had a Chevy Blazer. I actually had two Chevy Blazers. I had an 80, 85 or an 86 and I had a 92. Now the one I would be doing since overlanding also involves you driving trails and stuff, I would need fuel injection. I could either do a F5, F, like a Fitech, like fuel injection kit on a carbureted motor. That'd be cool, you know, it'd have a little power and everything, you know, you know, you can still get like 15 miles a gallon out of it. Or just do a 96, 95 and newer um, Chevy Tahoe or a Chevy Blazer, uh, the two door or the four door. Um, I've had them before. I haven't had a four door. I've had the two door before and the back has so much room. What I'm trying to do is be able to, okay, I have me, my wife, my kid, maybe another kid, maybe a dog. I don't know what the future holds. It'll probably be another kid. Um, and I want to be able to take them with me. That was one reason that I also got rid of the truck was I didn't think about you know Mason and Kayla coming with me to events I wanted them to come with me but putting a car seat in that truck and Kayla and myself all at the same time it wasn't easy that was the problem now some people would say oh well, why don't you just get another uh, like an extended cab or a uh, you know, a lowered Chevy or something like that. I don't quite know what direction I want to go yet. I went to Round Rock, the area I will be going to live in, for uh, maybe an hour, and I don't really get to see, you know, what all is out there. Now, I'm doing my research now, and I see that, you know, there and south and there and, like, to the east, there's a lot of off-roading and stuff you can do, or, like, go on the beach, you know, down that way. Um... So overlanding would be great. There's lots of trails, lots of places to go. But with that being said, there's also lots of trails to get to these places or streets. And I could also do a street build. So if I was to do a street build, I would probably end up doing a, like some people would say, a lower blazer um, or a lowered Chevy Tahoe, like an 01 and newer or a, a, a GMC Yukon, the Denali, because it's an all-wheel drive, uh, 6.0 V8. Um, and I mean, you can't beat an LS V8 that's got a cam and heads in it, or headers, sorry. It's just the sound of it, they sound great. Um, and Chevy is what I know for the most part. I know quite a, enough to be able to maintain a vehicle with Chevys. Now, I could do, you know, a Ford Bronco because, I mean, if you've seen Ford Broncos aftermarket, even just Ford's aftermarket uh, community, it's, hey, it's tits. Um, <clears throat> so that those are my plans. Either off-road build, but, you know, I can still take it to work, or uh, a street build. Um, I'm still torn between both and I don't know what I want. So, you know, I've talked about, you know, no more club, no more truck, 
um, I'm going to Texas, uh, uh, what we're doing to the house. Um, I would like to really get back to doing stuff. Um, we went out to Waco for a week and the things that we did in a week, I mean, it seemed like we had the most money in the world and we could be doing things the whole time. But really it was just, we saved up for a little vacation and we did so much to experience what they had out there. I mean, I'm talking, I know California has, I know California has uh, water slides and all, but I mean, they really take pride in their water parks. You know, uh, I found a few places where Kayla can play softball and maybe I can come, you know, fill in too. Um, the, uh, the, uh, they have a trampoline place out there that was really fun. You know, Mason even went on there. Um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll put in that right now, you know, because he had a blast playing basketball in there. And just kind of the limit, limitless things you can do out there. I mean, if you've seen California and Texas, the size of these states, it's phenomenal. I've, I thought I was in the same spot driving for a half an hour in Texas because it all looked the same. But it was so green and so beautiful. And the fact that they take pride in their state wasn't really what got us what got us was the people they're so friendly this is where southern hospitality comes into play they they were inviting us over to you know play uh play basketball with them or uh come back another time and they'd have you know a barbecue with us and you know these are you know me my wife and my kid are three complete strangers who have never seen these people before and they're offering to feed us and you know entertain us at their house you know and, and they don't even know us so it's just I'm that's what sold me and I'm looking to retire you know, I'm looking at the long game. I'm gonna, I want to retire. And I've seen what it does to people out here, how long they have to work, how hard they have to work out here. You know, you still have to work hard out there, but I've seen, you know, I've talked to people that they've been retired for a while and they can actually not have to work after they retire. You know, I know people get bored, but a lot of people are like, oh, well, I, I have to, you know, I have to work again because I'm bored and I also can't afford it because my social security didn't kick in and blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be able to do that. I want, I want to be able to go on trips and stuff and see my grandkids when I have grandkids and all that crap. Basically, I'm just looking for the long game and I want to live by the right, uh, the right way for my child. So with that being said, Wednesday, September 4th, I will be gone. I will be up in Mariposa that weekend before Labor Day weekend or Memorial Day or whatever day, holiday weekend that is, the beginning of September. I will be up there. I probably will not be going to fair. Um, this is for all my Mariposa people, by the way. Um, I will be spending time with family and friends. If you would like to meet up, let me know. Um, I will be posting something about this on my personal Facebook page and kind of explaining, you know, what's going on, where have I been, um, and that will be it. That will be your last time to see me, tell me you love me, um, confess stuff for me. Uh, the wife probably wouldn't like that, but I get a kick out of it. Uh. Yeah, to touch me, to hold me, whatever you want to do. This is it. I might come back to visit, you know, down the road, but California, you've been good to me, but I'm out.
So for one of the last times in California, this is your boy Chrome Dome. Freshly shaved. I hope you guys liked the video. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, share my my page, my profile, and everything. Let people know what you're watching. Um, we're gonna get to more videos. Right now, this is my life, and it's hectic, and I'm moving. And oh, one other thing. Yes, I did get another tattoo. Um, this has actually been in a separate account for everything to you people that are oh you could have bought other things instead of that I got this at a really good deal um, from a family friend who was really awesome and came down to me and helped me out because she knew my situation Alana thank you very much y you know I, <laughs> I couldn't have asked for more um, in those that weekend that I'll be coming up there. She will also be doing another tattoo right here for me. Um, so yeah, guys, comment, like, subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you later. See ya.